list iteration and sequential access. As elements are stored sequentially, sequentially in a list, we can use a loop to access the elements. Try out the below code and observe the different ways of accessing the elements in a list sequentially. List of airlines, this is the name of the list, uh, AI, Air, Air India, Emirates, British Airlines. Print, so we are going to access the list in, in two ways. One is iterating the list using range function and second one is iterating the list using a keyword in. Remember, iteration in, in list can be done using while loop as well. So iterating the list using a range function. So we take a look for index. Index is nothing but a variable, just a variable. You can have A, B, C, X, Y, Z, anything you can have. If you're going to have instead of this, you can have I as well. For I in range of 0, comma, len of list of airlines. We know this len function will return 1, 2, 3. So this is equal to having 3. Let me comment to the first section and run it. Okay, so let's run this program and see the output. So it says name index because here we have used i, we have declared as i, and here we have used use. That's i index. That's a difference. So I iterating the list using range function. So this is equal to for the first time for i in range of zero. It starts with zero. So zero list of airlines of zero. It comes in. So zero len of list of airlines is three. So it is in the range zero and three. So zero one two. These three will be accepted. So it is printing AI for the first time. In fact, we can visualize this. Okay. So list of airlines. It's a list which has three elements. I. There is a print statement, i trading the list using range function, so it got printed. i is a variable, it is 0 now, goes up, right, look at this, a is printed. List of airlines, i, list of airlines of 0, 0th position, a is there, a printed. Next time, i will become 1, now em will get printed here, look at this, then third time, B A will get printed. Now the value of I is 2. It is not within the range. So what will happen? It will come out. So we know this the value of this len would return. We know that the len would return 3. We can have 3. Even that time the output it, it works well. Look at this. We get the same output. So in this case, we know that the list of the size of the list is 3. So you can say it's a 3. But we cannot do this for every list, right? It's better to have the function what we had before, len of list, len of list of airlines. It works very well, right? So we can try out another option, another way. That is iterating the list using keyword in. So there's a keyword in. It's highlighted in a different color. So airline is a variable name. Just airline is a variable name for you. If you like to have, it's better to have the naming convention is very important. It makes sense. It gives us a meaning. If you like to make it small. You can have, I advise you not to do so, but still, if you like to have small for your understanding, I like to change this to A. For A in list of airlines, so for the first time, value of A will be AI, second time, EM, third time, it will be BA. Let me comment the above section and show you the output. Visualize this, it comes down here. So we are going to iterate the list using keyword in. For the first time, A has. Look at this. Previously, I had 0, 1, 2 indexes. But this time, the variable directly is going to have a value, AI. Right? It prints here. Then, EM. Then, it prints I. Then that's it. That's the end of the list. So it will have nothing else. Then, it gets over. So it's better to have the names what we had before, right? It, uh, the naming convention is very, very important. We should use the relevant names. So there's a index, you know that? That's about it. You run both and see the output. We get the output twice. 
if you want, if you just want to find out whether an element is there in a list, we need not iterate through the list. Instead, we can check using if in syntax. Try out the code and observe the result. So previously, what we have to do is we we'll have to check through iterate. If you are looking for a ba, you will have to start from the first element to the second, and then finally it comes here. If there are thirty elements. If you are trying to identify 29th element, then you have to start from the first element and uh, go through all the elements. Then finally, you have to come to 29th element, whether the element exists or not. But Python, they have made it very simple. Using if in, you can easily identify. So airline value is AI. Currently, they have taken airline value as AI. If airline in list of airlines. Then print airline found. Otherwise, airline not found. Simple, right? Then visualize this. Let's see what happens. Variable airline has a value AI. If it is there, then that condition becomes true. Then airline found message will get printed. Look at this, right? If I'm going to try the last one, B A. Let me have B A, right? Visualize this. BA airline value is BA. Yes, it is there. Yes, it is there. It is found. If you are going to have something else, let's say AB, it is not there, right? Visualize this. No, the condition becomes false. It comes to else part. It says airline not found. That's about it. You can execute and see the output. Assume that the name of the airlines operating. From an airport or stored in a list as shown below. Suppose we need to extract the airlines from the first to the third index positions in the list. How can you do that? List of airlines: A I S J J A E M A. Indexes are we know that start from zero, zero one, two, three, four. Python also permits us to use negative index. So negative index starts from the last element. Remember, we we'll have to start from the last element. It is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. That's right. To extract the airlines from first to third index position, so Python offers a simple solution in the form of slicing. We can know that uh, sub list. We can create a sub list. Sub list is equal to list of airlines one colon four. If you say that one colon four, it takes one, two, three. Remember, it is always the first one is always inclusive and the last one is exclusive. So it gives us value from one to three. Index from one to three. These three elements we will get. These the output variable values we will get. The above line provides a sub list from index position one to three. That is one to four minus one. As I said before, this last one is an exclusive. Indices may also be considered negative as shown above. This is normally used to count from right. For example, to fetch the second last airline in the list, we can write list of airlines minus two, second last. This is equivalent to the list of airlines len list of airlines minus two. As simple as that. Len of list of airlines, we you know one, two, three, four, five. The length of the list is five. We should not count from zero. We should count from one when it comes to length, right? When it comes to index, it starts from zero. One, two, three, four, five is the length. So list of airlines, length of list of airlines is five. Five minus two is three. So zero, one, two, three. Both minus two, negative index minus two, and the positive index three points to the same value. Negative indices can also be used for slicing. For example, list of airlines minus four colon. Minus one, so we know that minus four colon minus one, so minus four is inclusive and minus one is exclusive. It will give us the same as one and four. You get it right. So it is same as list of airlines one colon four. So the other way, minus four list of airlines minus four minus one. Try out the below code and observe the result. Also try these as well. List of airlines as five elements. New list is equal to list of airlines one colon four. So it takes one, two, three. Four is exclusive. So let's try this now. Let's try and print the 
value and see look at this a new list is created with these three elements the same could be achieved using negative index as well minus 4 colon minus 1 both are same so we're going to try the rest of the things so new list is equal to list of air lines of one colon so one colon is 0 1 it starts from here and when you put only one it goes up to this the last one I'm going to print it so every time you give new list so the, the, the list value will get overrated again and again right so let's see the third output so new list has SJ JA AM AA so except the first one so if you're going to change this 1 to 0 right you mentioned starting index alone but not the end index what happens is it sticks start, start from from the beginning to end till the end it takes this way we can try out the rest now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this print from here then put it here so we'll get a well starting index is 0 if you do not mention the starting index then by default it takes 0 0 to 2 0 1 2 is exclusive you know right so it will return the third statement third alone will change now so AI and SJ it will return AI and SJ because you have not mentioned the starting index for time being I like to comment this we will say only one print statement throughout then try the next so you say minus 5 sorry you have not mentioned the starting index but end index is minus 2 let's see what happens so in the, you start from this minus 1 minus 2 so you have mentioned end index is a minus 2 if you do not mention by default it has to take 0 as the index let's see what happens ai sj so it has taken 0 as the starting index 0 1 and 2 but you have mentioned minus 2 so it takes 0 sorry minus 1 minus 2 so minus 2 is exclusive so the remaining all inclusive you can have combination of both uh, positive and negative indices i'm sure this would help you to uh, try out the rest of the codes